Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel Volvo Christian, and welcome to the first charging test starring the EX30. So I'm here in beautiful Hamar, as you see. I recorded a couple of videos, exterior and interior tours of this EX30, but now it's time for the first charging test. My state of charge are down to like 29% state of charge, and I will head towards a place called Jøvik. It's like 45 minutes to drive, and the car estimates that I will arrive this charger at 12% state of charge. But I will probably drive a little extra uh, loop in the beginning uh, so that my state of charge will be down to like 8 or 7 at arrival. Or maybe just blast the heater. Um, but at least that's the plan. Charging test with the EX30, my first charging test. This is a press car that I'm landing from Volvo Car Norway. I've had it since last week. I picked it up on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. But I've only charged at home, so this will be my first like 10 to 80 charging test. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. This is the single motor extended range. So we got a battery in the floor, 69 kilowatt hours, and we have 65 kilowatt hours usable. The peak charging situation, peak charging, that is 153 kilowatt. I'm not sure if we will see that today. Today it's like one degree Celsius, pretty cold. And I'm not sure when I arrive the charger if I get a charger for myself or if I have to share it with, with someone else. But hopefully I will get it to myself and hopefully we can see a pretty wicked curve. That is what I hope for. We're running 20 inch alloys but that won't make a difference um, because this is a charging test. But either way, this is the car, press car from Volocon no Norway. 20 inch alloys, vapor grey and it's a single motor extended range in the Ultra. Uh, spec. So, all in all, beautiful car. If you want to see more videos on this car, then just head to uh, my playlist here on YouTube with the EX30 content. I have made a couple of videos already and I will make a bunch more. So if you want to see more, just head to my uh, channel and uh, look at the playlist with EX30 content. I have put uh, the charger into navigation and when I did it up at a shopping center here it actually said in the infotainment that pre, uh, preheating or preconditioning of the battery has started. And that's the first time I'm seeing this message. So I will uh, it's still entered in the navigation so I'm guessing the battery will start precondition because it's pretty cold now. It's been parked for basically like an hour. First on uh, that side and then uh, some here and yeah. So the battery has some heating to do, but uh, let's get to it. And just as you can see it, that hopefully I can trigger this uh, message that the car will preheat. So here is the charging station, Ebony in uh, Jøvik. We are here in Hamar. 47 minutes, I will arrive with 12%. Let's see. If we can get this message to appear again. ACC unavailable, come on. Let's see if we can see the message. Well, well, uh, it didn't appear. My state of charge, 29. And when I tested it earlier, up at the shopping center, I got a message here. I can overlay so you can see the message that I got, but I'm not sure if um, the car actually preheats now because the message uh, won't appear. Maybe there's a limit on how low, uh, because this was like over 20% when I tried it, er, tried it like one hour ago. But now with the climate running, uh, my state of charge has, has dropped. And I'm not sure if there's a charging limit uh, or like a state of charge limit on how low it will keep the preheating on. But maybe I have to send a message to Volvo before posting this video so I can put it up on the screen here if it should preheat or not. Because I have no message now. So let's start driving. Let's see if it suddenly appears when I'm entering the road here. Come on, baby, come on. Show me that preheating. Ah. I think it's, uh, I think I'm giving up. Yeah, focus on driving. Yeah, something reduced functionality for. What the heck did they say there? I don't know. Something is reduced. Something is reduced. I don't know. But this is the driver alert system. 
in motion. Let's see. And I didn't took my eyes off the wall for more than like a second or something. Maybe two. But that uh, keeps bugging. Let's see, we got two um, warning icons here. I just want to drive over to this parking lot. And just, let's see, indicate in here. Let's see what we got up. We got two icons here. I also got these two yesterday. And the message goes away so fast that you... And yesterday I actually didn't got a message on these. But this is something with the, the front collision warning system. And the collision avoidance. Uh, probably because of something is blocked with snow or ice or something. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We continue driving. Apparently no message. So I have arrived my uh, charger. I'm going to start it up right now. Sadly my camera are out of battery. And I also forgot to um, uh, charge my backup camera. Something went wrong. But uh, let's see. My state of charge. 4%. I actually didn't have to uh, take a detour. The charge was dropping down, although the state of charge was dropping down rapidly. So let's now connect. Open up. I'm sorry for the vibrations in this video clip. Open up, open up. Now, let's see. We're taking this G cable. Heavy and cold. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Yep, we are now connected. Now we'll just open up the application. So it looks like the charging are working. We are now at 5% state of charge, but it's going dark slow. I'm at 18.2 kilowatt hours, 18.5, 18.7, and I've been connected for I just want to show it uh, probably like two minutes. 18.9. We have two minutes in. This is going really, really slow. And maybe this is a testament that uh, the car hasn't uh, preconditioned the battery. The battery is probably slow to go. 18.7. We're actually dropping. This is going to take a little eternity at this speed, let's see. So at least you can see what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, and again, I'm sorry for the vibrations from the phone in my hand. You see here, we are at 62. Nice with the tail light in the background. 62, 63, 8%. Oh, I'm shaking. 68, 70. Just give me 10% so I can start the timer. Let's see if we can show the clock as well. You see, 16.33. So, oh, there we have 10%. So, 1633. I have to just check that that is the actual time. Oh, come on, let me in, you. Oh, the clock here says 16.31, but now we flipped over to 32, so we are starting at 16.31. 16.31, 10 10% 10 state of charge. And now the clock is on. And now we'll head in and get some food and drinks. But we were peaking at like 62. Let's see if we are 70. Useless. This uh, Ebony company, I'm using the, their app. They have an application so you can see the charging curve. And you will join me at the end of this charging session. So, we are back. The car is 79. Oh, just ticked in at 80. Grab a picture, grab a picture. And the clock is 17.03. 17.03. So we are at 32 minutes. 32 minutes to charge from 10 to 80 but the curve are just incredible incredible just see it it's a 
weirdest curve. Let's see, just take a screenshot. It says 79, but it says 80 here. So just scratch that. Or just scroll down. Screenshot. Why won't this update? Piece of shit. Okay. It doesn't matter. But we are at 80%. And it took 32 minutes. And my camera charged inside Rema 1000. It went up to 22%. So uh, it was a race. <laughs> What, went, what was supposed to be finished first, the car or the battery and then my camera. But at least we have good audio, good picture, and I can overlay the, um, can some, allow the charging curve. Pretty weird, but as you may see, um, we peaked actually at, yeah, almost, uh, is it the 150? It's almost at the 160 marker. That was at pretty low state of charge, but it dropped instantly. And then just uh, like a, a little escalator stairs. And we were in the low 70s the most of the time and now when we are uh, dipping past 80 you see the i can also take a screenshot of this one because now it's pretty low let's see we are charging at 41 kilowatt so 41 kilowatt at 81 percent state of charge but this uh, didn't turn out as i have thought the time itself 32 was okay but um, the build-up was crazy slow. And also, um, maybe that also means that the car couldn't have preheated. But I have to come back and I will, if I have gotten a reply before this video goes live, I will put it under. If I get a reply from Volvo that uh, says that it doesn't preheat under a certain amount of state of charge, and maybe I will do the charging test once again. So within the limits, but right now I don't think the car preheated. And that also makes sense when you see how long it, how long time it took, because I connected at 3% or 4%, and it took some time before we were getting some speed. Probably because the car had to heat up the battery and then start the real charging. But we're now at 82%, so it's time to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sorry about the little um, smartphone thing going on in the middle here. I have to charge both batteries tonight. So, but now it's down to the hotel because early in the morning it's going to be a range test. Winter range, to, winter range test over a mountain pass. The same route as I took with my XE40 a couple of weeks or months ago. Actually that's one of the videos I'm most pleased with. Super pleased with the results of that uh, video. But uh, we will repeat the success uh, tomorrow with the EX13. So thank you for watching this video and now it's time to disconnect. I'm not sure if we... Let's see if I can try to do it on a proximity sensor. You see, the car is locked. The car is unlocked. Unlocked. Okay, let's see. Please. No. No. Same thing as with home charging. You have to go into the screen. Let's see, main menu and charging. Charging ended. And you can now unplug, put it back in the holder. And then close. First one lid, then the second lid. Stupid ass. And then close this and then off we go.